break my ball over that. But that was all warmed up. I got the bait block, the bun, the heat all heating up in the port. Uh, this is the insert right here. But uh, I think I finished by quarter six by about uh, two inches wide. Or two inches long. Here. I use this for making the slot, or at least roughing it out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ugly, but it does the trick. Uh, I'll use this to make the slot for the, the bun. And then uh, we'll hot fit with uh, the edge steel. And then uh, flush it up uh, with the black magic. And then uh, go from there. I hope the IR, the infrared watch out is too bad. I'm uh, thinking this technique, uh, watch the death needs might make you guys do it. Yeah, they're mostly for knives, but same principle and same technique. Uh, axes, and uh, it's similar to a Kabuse weld or a Kabuse weld, uh, except that the steel is a flip. It's a soft jacket over a hard core. So, uh, that's a little different. Uh, I was reading this morning, uh, and a smith from Norway said they commonly do it uh, for the little Puko and Scandi. Uh, Scandinavian style knives. Uh, it makes sense, perfect sense. But uh, they cheat, they use angle iron for the jacket. It's a good trick, and I'm going to have to try it. So, but... well, I'll give it a try. Hopefully, I don't make a fool myself. It's only the second time I've ever done it, so. Here we go. There's my 
Post the info. There's an NC tool anvil stand with a filing vise on there, a little foot treadle. I've been grabbed hard enough to break fingers. Uh, my old Trenton. I got my very first full size anvil back there. There's the uh, Funky Barriers anvil. That's uh, an anvil my friend dug out of his barn. He was walking through his barn kicking the horn every time he went by. He finally dug it up and that's what it was. It was the anvil with the heel broke off. Also a trick. Uh, it's my little cheapy saw. Uh, there's a flail. Uh, in case anybody gets rowdy. Uh, cheap buffer, cheap drill press, little heater. Uh, belt storage. <laughs> there's KMG with a crappy temporary motor. Thank you, Dave Steffens. You really saved me on that one and I still use that motor to this day. Uh, here's a, you know, any horizontal surface, of course, gets covered in crap. Uh, this was clean yesterday, so that's how quick things go. Uh, some old swords. A beautiful uh, Middle Eastern style sword. There's like an elvish chopper sword. It's an upswept tip. There's a European double-edged sword in the works, of course, and then uh, an old saber. That, uh, that's stuff that's been sitting around. I haven't been in the shop in about a year, so uh, steel storage back there. So all right, let's get back to it.
a little bit of secret flux uh, made by Black Magic, made by Jonathan Nedbor. Okay, battery's dying. I hope it lasts. And I'll probably just get, probably just get the weld, and then that's it. So. Come on, battery, hold out on me. I wish the camera had an AC power plug. So that I could, uh... Oh, it does, but I gotta find the plug. So I don't always rely on these damn batteries. Off, see if I can't get a nice spectacular shot of the well. Straight, straight power hammer stuff. No need to heat treat. It's tough nail. 